Well, organized Purdue family, we are in the home stretch. We are in the M of the Dream Flow formula. So I'm super excited because not only have I given you this five step process, you are now ready to implement the strategies that I have shared with you of the Dream Flow formula. So let's get cracking, right? Let's get cracking. Let's create a dream flow experience for you and your clients so that you free up your time and your brain power all at the same time. So this is the last episode and I want to hear from you. Okay. Well, please, pretty please. All right. You ready? Let's go. Organize, but I help female entrepreneurs primarily through that process so that they can ignite the business of their dream. So that's why we're here today. We're talking about the dream flow formula. It is a five-step framework where you are creating a dream experience for you and your client. Keep in mind, it is a destination. um, Excuse me. It is a journey and you want to help, help that journey to be more enjoyable for you as well as your clients. So you do that by creating systems and processes um, throughout their journey. So five of those uh, systems, number one is the discovery marketing system. That's more for you to be discovered in the marketplace, right? The relationship building system, that is the um, process of building a relationship that may be your email marketing strategy, um, you know, things like that so that they, you can develop a more of a, a no like and trust factor. And then the accelerated delivery system, how fast are you going to get them their product or their services? How fast is it going to be delivered to them? How efficient is, is your system? And now we're on the matchless client success system. All right. So picture this, a seamless process that flows effortlessly, that captivates your potential clients and retains your current clients. That's what we're talking about today. We're talking about a matchless client success system so that you create an exceptional experience for them. Whether they're a client or a potential client, whatever that is, you wanna definitely create an exceptional experience throughout their journey. So here are a couple of stats for you. I like to bring, make sure that uh, I bring a few stats. So acquiring a new customer can be anywhere from five to 25 times more expensive than retaining your existing one. That's why we're talking about the dream flow formula because a lot of times people focus so much on the um, getting clients, acquiring clients, when it is costing you more. And so your primary goal is to service your existing clients in an excellent way, okay? Another uh, stat for you, 81% of businesses consider customer experience a competitive differentiator, Mm, according to uh, Duelet. And so... You want to stand out, right? Because of how the client or the prospect experiences you. Uh, And one last stat, increasing customer retention rates by just 5% can lead to 25 to 90% increase in profit. So focus on your existing clients with the matchless uh, customer experience. All right. So what does that look like? Matchless, I'm sorry, matchless client success system. Let's just make sure we stay on point, right? So what does that require? It requires a tailored approach. We'll talk about that and exceptional support, ongoing education, emotional connection, and continuous improvement, improvement. Okay. All right. I like to share power secrets. I call them power secrets secrets because it has a little bit more punch. But really, if you think about it, 
they're not really secrets, <laughs> okay? But it's things that sometimes we need a reminder about. We need to be reminded of how to engage and how to treat our customer, our current customers, right? So I'm going to share with you a few more. And as a matter of fact, I just shared with you what those secrets are. That's not so secret. So a tailored approach. What does that look like? It's a unique and individualized approach, not a cookie cutter approach, right? Um, a lot of times what happens, you know, if you look at the marketplace, you see a lot of different, you know, uh, types of coaching programs, uh, different types of, you know, financial programs, but basically they, the framework may look the same, but there's always, there should be a tailored approach, an individualized tailored approach. For example, I, as a declutter coach, I do have an individualized tailored approach to my clients. And that's what makes me stand out. And I've heard from my clients, they're like, the experience is wonderful. You're, you're very caring. You, you exercise grace. Uh, we don't feel, uh, you know, isolated or condemned because we have clutter, right? And so, and that really uh, goes a long way, understanding their specific needs, challenges, and aspirations, right? So that's power secret number one. Exceptional support, being there for your clients every step of the way. That doesn't mean that they can contact you 24 hours and you're available. That's not what that means. But what that does mean that every step of the way in their journey, you are there for them, right? One of the things that I do every Monday morning, um, and I haven't always done this, but I thought about it. I was like, well, how can I actually give them a little bit more support every step of the way? So I send out a message via Voxer to them every Monday morning with a little bit of encouragement, uh, tips, you know, things that they may be stuck on because listen, I, as an entrepreneur, understand, right? So uh, being there every step of the way with proactive communication, prompt responsiveness. So one of the reasons I use Voxer is because they can actually respond to me um, and I can respond to them promptly, right? And so it's a, a, what they call asynchronous, I can't even pronounce the word, but communication. It's a form of communication. Um, and being genuinely dedicated to their success. Their success is your success, right? If they're not successful, then you're not successful. And I'm not saying that, you know, it, 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 it has to be in a way that they are held accountable and going through and doing the work, right? But their success is your success. Oops. I went to number four. Number three, ongoing education. Empowering your clients with knowledge and tools and resources for conti to continue their growth, even after your engagement with them. So even after they've gone through your coaching program or you know whatever it is that they are going, your course, whatever that is, consulting, whatever that is, um, sometimes you just want to kind of hit them up, say, hey, how's it going? Um, the last time we talked, you know, you were, you know, whatever, wh wherever they were, right? Uh, you were at, as Michelle says, X, Y, Z, one, two, three, <laughs> right? But continuing to stay in contact with them. And I know like Michelle, for example, who is a financial consultant, uh, that's, you know, one of her genres. And so she does the, the annual uh, follow-ups, right? With her clients, just to kind of touch base to see where they are, right? So, and if they're stuck, you can offer, you know, different types of resources that may help them along, along the way. And that differentiates you, right? So continuous education, industry insights, uh, value added content. So things like that are really, really important to the ongoing uh, success of your clients. Number four, emotional connection understanding the desires, the fears, 
and motivation on a deeper level, showing empathy, actively listening to them, genuinely caring about their journey is so important. Um, and I realized that when, you know, taking people through the decluttering challenge, I connect with them on a more deeper level, right? Because there's a lot of fear, there's a lot of shame, there's a, a lot going on when it comes to that decluttering process. And a lot of times that will surface. In most cases, it will surface uh, because they hadn't really been in touch with that um, that part of them in quite some time. So being able to show empathy and actively listening to what their concerns are, right? And again, genuinely caring about their journey. Continuous improvement, constantly evolving, not static. You know, there's a lot of um, uh, resources out there. So you should be committed to staying ahead of the industry trends, the innovative practices, so that you can refine your approach based and, and, and really based on your customer, your client feedback, right? But not just their feedback, but one of the things that I've shared uh, from, time to, from time to time, what I will do is if I see an ad that is geared toward people who are going through the decluttering process um, or looking for decluttering options or getting organized or whatever, then I will look at the feed just to look to see what are some of their concerns. And that kind of helps me stay really connected with my uh, uh, peeps that's getting, you know, that's looking to get organized and, and going through some type of challenge when it comes to uh, decluttering and just consistently seeking ways to enhance your service and deliver greater value. Not only that, one of the things that I do also is I am when I'm talking to my clients, I want them to tell me what are some of the challenges that they're that they're having, right? And when I do that, that keeps me out of my head and keeps me in their head, right? So that uh, because when I'm in, in my head, like I say all the time, that's a very, very dangerous place. But um, it keeps me from just being so tunnel, uh, having tunnel vision and not able to identify with what the client may be going through or the potential client may be going through. And the whole thing is thinking through the journey. Think through the client's journey, the customer journey, the prospect journey. How do you want them to experience you, right? How are you experiencing others, right? Will really help you to think about, you know, I don't really wanna go through that, right? Uh, when I go to their website, you know, it's just, you know, too much of this or I'm, I'm confused. I don't know, you know, what's my next step or their emails, you know, so many things you need to think through when it comes to that uh, process and thinking through that prospect journey, that customer journey, that client journey, and how they are engaging with you on at every touch point. And so with your matchless client success system, your goal is to exceed their expectations. What you want is you want them to be highly satisfied. That is what gives or provides uh, customer retention, referral in business. I still have people referring business to me in the professional organizing business. As a matter of fact, uh, I, a couple of weeks ago, someone referred some business to me. And so we're uh, communicating on getting our uh, session, you know, set up, right? So, and, and that's because I've made an impact on somebody. So somebody remembers me. And so the, uh, the person actually referred the business uh, to me. I also get people that I have service like 13, 14, 15 years ago. I get emails from people. Are you still doing that? I really need, you know, someone to help me, you know, get organized, you know, things like that. And so these are things that 
help you to stand out and differentiate you from the others. It gives you a competitive edge and it increases customer lifetime value. So one thing, what's one thing that you can do this week to create more satisfied clients, more satisfied customers, or what is one thing that, that you can do that keeps people singing your praises? That's why I got the young lady there listening, you know, to music, because it's like you, somebody singing praises, right? <laughs> I don't even know if that's a really good analogy. But anyway, my point is you want to get people singing your praises and that's how you um, create a matchless system. And there's a system around all of this. There is a process around all of it. And so, but these are things that you want to put in place. So, again, Are you feeling overwhelmed trying to navigate the world of online entrepreneurship? Are you a female entrepreneur, coach, consultant, or service-based professional struggling to turn your dreams into a sustainable reality? Are you tired of the endless to-do lists, sleepless nights, or fear of things slipping through the cracks and worrying about the next client. If this is you and you're ready to transform your business into a thriving, sustainable, and vibrant venture that you love, then listen up. I'm Aldrina Harper, business and podcast launch strategist, declutter coach, and the host of the Organized Entrepreneur Podcast. As a professional organizer in the business for more than 20 years, I've been there. And so I get it. But by listening and subscribing to this podcast, what you'll discover are ways to get organized, implement systems to help you free up your time and energy so that you can focus on things that matter. And here's the cool part. You'll even discover how you can leverage the power of podcasts to attract top-notch leads straight into your virtual doorstep so that your pipeline pops with opportunities. It's time to say goodbye to chaos and confusion and hello to clarity, confidence, and certainty in your dream business. Are you ready? Let's go.